All right, we're gonna move on from the dancing because your mothers just wanna flap their gums and I really don't care what they think. So let's move on. I asked each of you to do a homework assignment. I wanted you to write about JoJo. Positive reasons why she should be a member of the Abby Lee Dance Company. Then I asked you to, on the flip side, write down reasons she should not be part of the Abby Lee Dance Company. Week after week, JoJo proves that she is a tough cookie, but I think she needs somebody to be on her. So think how much more JoJo would improve. If she hears it from her peers, maybe it will have an impact. Mackenzie, would you like to share with us? Come on up here. The first reason is sometimes she's very loud. Sometimes she's off in the group dances, and sometimes she's a little too crazy. All right, what are the good things? She's kind, and she puts a lot of hard work into our dances. Okay. You had some timing issues, sometimes a little too loud, but she's very dedicated and hardworking. You take opportunities from people who have been here longer. Okay, and then the good things. You're nice and a team player. You lip sync when you're on stage. You respect us. Good word, respect. You're still getting used to picking up in two days, and obviously you're crazy in public. I'm really impressed how JoJo is taking this all in. It's not easy, and I respect the fact that JoJo's standing tall and taking it like a champ, just like Nia does. So, JoJo, you've wanted a permanent spot on this team since you got to Pittsburgh, but you're lucky to even be a guest here at the ALDC. However, there's a lot that makes you an ALDC dancer. You're a performer and you're sassy. So, I'm gonna give you this jacket. This is sacred and this is for the rest of this season. This is not for all eternity, okay? You're welcome. Okay. Abby, I promise no trouble, no lawsuits, no craziness, no nothing. All right, so on with the show. All right, everybody else spread apart. Let's get warmed up. So you guys know we're here to stay now, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. No <laughs> carrot dangling in your face anymore. No, it's, it feels like a relief. Finally, is all I have to say. I can sleep with a smile on my face, and I know JoJo will be sleeping with a jacket on. This is the open call audition day to replace Vivian, and I am just thrilled that so many people are turning out. There's a line around the building. Hi, everybody! Hi. Thank you for coming. I'm looking forward to seeing some amazing talent in there today. Break a leg, everybody! You all realize why you're here. You're auditioning for a spot on the Abby Lee Dance Company's competition team. It is not to be taken lightly. We're here to audition. I really can't believe that we have to audition. We've been here for four years, and I think it's, you know, ridiculous that we have to wait in this line with all these people. They're all strangers. She should just be in the group. This is it. Dance for your life. My eyes are roaming the classroom. Seven, eight, nine, here we go. I'm gonna let you go. 478, you're done. 276, you're done. I immediately took notice of about five dancers. That would be a nice fit. Now I need to see them jump, I need to see them turn, I need to see them kick. Come on, girls, give it to me. That's not enough right now, let's go. When I looked around at all the moms, it was weird to picture any of them being part of our group. I mean, we're such a close-knit group and just to let an outsider in is gonna be really hard. All right. I'm a little worried about the new mom joining the group just because I'm constantly looking over my shoulder with Melissa, and if I've got another one, I can only look one way at a time. Next group, let's go. You need a kid that's really gonna fit in with the chemistry of the group. 495, you can go, thank you. Stay, you can go. They can't be too old, they can't be too young. I don't want another Mackenzie whining. I don't want another Brooke brooding. I need someone that's the right fit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Put my little baby up there. Face directly to the back. Good lord, it's like they're like at a cattle auction. 
As you know, we were looking for one person. 230-201-479, step forward. Peyton, you know I love you. You're just not right for this particular competition team, so I have to let you go. It's just not fair. I think Peyton was just too tall. And I know you don't want to hear that, but... Well, then put her on it some other way. <sighs> Relieved? 201, 479. Sadly, I have to let you go. Thank you very much. 230. Congratulations! 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 I was so excited for Kendall. All of her hard work had paid off. And I know what she's going to do with this team. And I know that they're going to love her. This is a legacy that you're joining. She is now one of Abby's kids. I'm Kendall. I'm eight years old. And I just really believe in myself that I can show Abby what I can do. I think I'm worthy to be a part of the Abby Lee Dance Company. This is a tight-knit group. And I'm not going to tell you that it's going to be easy. You're on probation for the first several weeks. And. Mom, there's a competition this weekend. She has three days to prepare. I chose Kendall because she has great potential. She was the right look. She's a cute little girl. She fit in well with the kids. Thank you, you're all dismissed. I will see you bright and early tomorrow for rehearsal, OK? Thank you. Thank you all. Jill, um, she's going to come in tomorrow. I need her for a private right after school. I'm going to teach her a solo, and then I'll be here to have her in private. Thank you. All right. Hey, by the way, congratulations Thanks. again. Thank you. Thanks. Hi. Um, I just need you to explain a few things to me. I don't understand. No, no worries. Why, Why cat Peyton? She's just too tall. But come on. Find, you're Abby Lee Miller. Find a spot for her. She didn't make it for the first cut. She, she just doesn't fit she, into that team. She looks too Why old. Why not? Isn't it she about dances what you very mature. I spend tons of money. And you I know. know what? You're a very good customer. I'm not done. I'm not. The kid was great. Well, then tell me I told what her she was great. What is it going to take? You'd have to cut her in half. She's through puberty. It doesn't it. matter. You should find her a spot. Are you bringing these strangers? Those three girls left after you cut her? With the strangers. Well, you don't know what they're like. You don't know what that. Wait, is the one going to come from Ohio? You have no idea what these people are going to do for you. Leslie. I'm everything for you. Leslie. What? Calm down. Bull crap. I do everything right. You need to go home and rethink this. Try to sleep on your pillow and think about what you did to me and to Peyton tonight. Leslie, no, Peyton is too old to, to dance with those little kids. Finer spot, Abby. Finer spot. Solo dance. Finer spot. Solo duet. Anything. Give her something. How about our new BFF, Jill? Is she coming? Yeah, I'm sure she'll be here. Probably going to be here with a big gift for Abby. <laughs> I think she's very nice. Um, Ugh. and I, I don't know her, so I'm You also thought to... Kathy was nice, so what's your uh, judge of character? I like you guys, but I don't want to be your cheerleaders. I'm just trying to give her the benefit of the doubt, but, um, somebody said they quit from where they were dancing. There was, like, three people that quit because of her. Melissa says that people have told her that Jill is, like, a crazy dance mom and that she's heard nothing good about her. A couple people said to me, isn't it funny how she wormed her way in here? After your kids got a music video, the next day I walk in and here she was, like, taking classes and coming for this audition. Yep. So, your reputation precedes you. Kelly and Christy already have their guard up, and they're already saying, we think that Jill is going to be a problem in our group. Um, I'm kind of thinking the same way, but I'm trying not to judge her. I'm trying to give her a chance. And I certainly don't trust people who are, like, overly nice, overly accommodating, sweet, nice. like. Because nobody's really that nice. Sir, I mean, I, I miss. I think her main thing was. Hi! Hi. How is it? Your Hi. first day. It's my first day. I'm Jill. Christy. So nice, nice to, to meet, meet you, Jill. Christy. I'm Melissa. I'm Melissa. I love Jill's voice. I think it's very 900 number. This little girl, Kendall, is getting the biggest break of her life she's ever going to get. And so is that mother. I am going to put Kendall in the competition doing a solo so that I can see what she looks like on stage. I'm going to put the pressure on that kid 
and see if she sinks or swims. Then you're gonna take a giant step with your right foot out and drag and throw those arms up in the air. <sighs> I'm pretty sure Kendall's gonna be able to hang. And we came from a studio from about an hour. I live locally. But so... what made you, like, I mean, you've been driving for years and this is close. Why didn't you come here before? Honestly, I never heard great things about Abby. And I feel this tension between Christy and I. I would think she could be a little more welcoming. Oh, we always beat your studio when we went places. Yeah, you think? Absolutely. Yeah. Chloe and Maddie have gone head to head with Kendall and they beat her. When? Last year. Well, Kendall's See, come you're a long so way. See, I told you. Yeah, she well, has her stuff. We've all come a long way. Yeah, we've come a long way. I and wasn't there. It My is there. about the win because, let's face it, we're all here to, to win. Christy brings up that Maddie and Chloe had both beaten Kendall at one point, so she must feel a little threatened by Kendall to even bring that up. I don't care what they think. There's a million Chloe Maddie pages out there. But guess what? Kendall's here, and she's staying. Hey, Peanut. What'd you think? I like it. It's great. You look great. I think Jill is the queen of the stage moms. And like the whole Melissa, Jill thing, like they're either going to team up together or they're going to be like two beta fish and kill each other. Kendall and I have a little something for you for letting us in on your family. I bought Abby a gift as a token of my appreciation, and I wanted to give it to her in front of all the other moms because I want them to know that I'm serious about this. What is this it? Perfume and the Chanel. And the, and is that the, the that's Joe, number the five? That's it. Jill pulls out a gift for Abby. I wanted to die. I was like, oh my god, here's another Melissa. <laughs> gift giver. <laughs> I would give Abby a three-month trial membership to Weight Watchers if I were to give her a gift. It's the gift that we keep on giving. Girls, come on, let's go! Here we are at Dance Troop in Greensboro, North Carolina. Let's go, check it out. And there is some amazing talent here. I'm excited to see what's going to happen on stage. Really quick, we'll start with your eyes. Now, Kendall, remember, you are still on probation. What you do out there today counts. Yes? I'm not really sure what probation means. I think she keeps saying probation, just she wants me to bring it. But I'm prepared to go on stage and bring it. Up next, we have contestant number 81 in the performance of Bring on the Boys from Studio Code 513. Welcome, Kendall. <laughs> The way that Jill was talking, I expected Kendall to be this amazing dancer. She was a good dancer, but no comparison to Maddie or Chloe. Before I went on stage, I was hearing Abby's voice telling me all the corrections and all the changes. But I know I can do this. Kendall looked gorgeous in her costume. But the face wasn't there. The kid was a nervous wreck. Were you nervous? Sort of. OK. Kendall was really nervous at the competition. Here she's known these girls for three days. She gets a new solo. She really wants to do well for Abby. Are we ready for awards? Are you sure? This is performance in fourth place, number 85. in my category and really happy for that. Things ended up okay without mom. I really hope I win first. I don't want to let my fans down. And in first place, junior age division, our overall awards goes to number 84, born to sing at the Ladies Dance Company. In my age category, I got first overall and I was really excited and happy. 
because it's the first solo of the new dance season, and it just felt really good to start off on a good note. And rounding out our pre-junior category in first place, number 65, star of the show, on our solo and we beat some 16 year olds and I thought that was a very good achievement for us too. We need to get ready for the group dance. Let's go. Kendall, you need to watch your distended neck. You need to pull it back. I just want to know what your thoughts were on Kendall. I don't know, the probation thing. I don't want you to like hold her on that one performance where I she had three days to learn the number. This is what this is all about. Her she worries. passed that test. I guess that's my question. I I don't want to be on probation. I want to be part of the team. I want my daughter to be a part of the team. I want to get rid of this probation crap and move on. I said she has to prove herself. She's mm -hmm. going to keep on proving herself. Everything is going to be a test. I'm sort of sad. I think I'm going to be on probation for pretty long. OK. I'm not prepared. No. You were prepared, honey. You had a couple days to prepare. Hello. You were. Are you crying? No. No tears. You save those tears for your pillow in your room alone. You're going to humiliate yourself in front of everyone in this dressing room. Do not cry. Suck it up, kid. You're here. You're healthy. You are one lucky little girl. Act like it. What I saw from Kendall disappointed me. She didn't blow me out of the water. I, I was expecting this kid to come out there and have the whole package, and she didn't. So she's still on probation. I have no hands. Pull. OK. Oh, my goodness. He is Hi. Oh, that hand's wet. I'm oh, that's sorry. OK. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Hi. What's your name? Vivi. Hi, Vivi. So we want to sign up for classes, and we want to do competition. Dance has been in my life since I've been three years old. My mom danced. My grandma danced. So Vivi has to dance. I think you like dance. Five, six, seven, eight, get it up. Two, three. I own Candy Apples Dance Center. I have been a dance instructor since 1998. Four, five. This is what you keep forgetting. Why do you keep forgetting this? Just twist, twist. Ugh, ugh. I am absolutely loaded with quirks. I love bunnies. They're soft and they're cuddly and they're cute. I like carrots too. I think carrots are neat because they go hand in hand with bunnies. Pink is my ultimate favorite color. And I like to say that pink is not a color, but it is a way of life. I don't like pink. I own Candy Apples Dance Center. Does that oh, ring a bell? So you're the dance teacher. I am the dance teacher. I'm sorry, teacher. and this is your daughter. This is my daughter. So you're here as the mom. I am here as the mom. Not the dance teacher. No, I am. You're not looking for a job. Oh, OK, OK, yes. all right. We just wanted to give her a boost. I would like to see her compete with you this weekend. This weekend? This weekend. Um, we can do it. We can do it. Okay. Can't we? we? You go, girlfriend. We can do it. Moms come from all over to bring their children to me. They want to be a part of the Abby Lee Dance Company. They come for me. You want to do your tricks first? Want to lay on your tummy and show me touch your feet to your head? I see Vivi having some talent. And she's extremely flexible. She's got a beautiful point. I'm hoping she has a dancer's body. How about your front limber? Uh, Handstand to a back bend? No. No? We uh, actually prepared a little piece for you to see. It's just a little duo that we started this year, but she'll just do it as a solo for you. Is that OK? OK, that's, you want to do that? Kathy came into my studio, and her daughter Vivi auditioned. I thought it was ridiculous. She demanded that she be in this competition this weekend. That's not realistic. There is no way Vivian is ready to compete this weekend. I need to work with her a lot more before she's ready. Here's the thing, and you know this from having your own school. Yes. I have people that want to be in the dance company just to get the outfit. The money doesn't matter. Here's my kid. Do whatever you want. I need mom to step out of the picture. So I'm going to be the teacher, all right? You're going to look at me. Maybe it's just time for me to be the mom and for somebody else to be the coach. Mom, I'll take you out front and we'll okay. get you signed up and ready. Oh, And you're, okay. you're sure we're good on this? We're, we're going to get signed up? Yep. What do you say? Go give her a big hug. I think that Abby is the one that's going to really be making out when it comes to 
me and Vivi being a package deal. So I may be just able to interject with that one little, oh, maybe a see sewn here would work. All right. Okay, thank I'll you. see you soon, Vivi. I'm gonna be able to bring things to the table. Hi, what's up? Not much, I'm oh. Ashley. What's your name? Chrissy. Chrissy, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you too. I didn't know we were having somebody new. Yeah, well, I'm not too new though. You don't know who I am? Are you I'm from, from the Pittsburgh studio. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah, I'm Sarah's I mom. You now. Sarah and I are from the select team, so we're trained by Abby, and she invited us back on the team this week. She has been training so, so hard to prove to Abby that she can definitely be a part of this team, and she's going to do a great job no matter what's given to her. You've got a pretty good position here, don't you, huh? She likes Bryn, but I'm not too popular, so it doesn't You're make not. it fun for me. No? <laughs> no. I'm Mom's not. giving you a hard time? You know, we were called because Maddie was gone and Abby needed someone yeah, to see, replace that's, like, what gets me, though. I don't understand why she just doesn't revert back to who she knows and who she has trained. So from my standpoint, you have to understand, like, I agree with the other moms. I don't know. I just she's think if you're really something. fighting for a spot, Brins is probably not the one you're going to get because we're permanent members as of two weeks ago. Yeah, but that can, your jacket can be taken away from you quickly. We'll have to see. Hi, oh, sweetheart. How are you? It's so nice to see you home from home. Nice to see you too, honey. Thanks for all your text oh, messages and absolutely. all the time. It's really great to see Christy. I'm so happy that she's back. I don't want to say she's changed, but she's changed her ways. I love her now. It's Hi. nice to see you. It's good to be here. I'm glad you're here. That's great. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> are you kidding me? I don't like anything about Christy. She thinks her daughter is so much better than JoJo. Why are you even here? You're going to be way? gone in 24 hours. I have nothing to worry about. As soon as JoJo takes that stage, see you later. She just drives me crazy. Oh, yeah. Abby! Oh. Hi! So good to see a smiling face out of you. How are you doing? How are you? I'm good. Good, 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 good. You look so pretty. Oh, well, thank thank you're you so for here. having us come out. No problem. Kalani isn't here this week. She went home with her mom to attend her great-grandfather's funeral. Perfect opportunity for Sarah to step in. She's improved. She's grown. She's matured. She's a nice kid. The kid's hungry. She wants it. So I'm going to give her another try. Get your poses. Can you be taller a little bit? No. You can go here, but I want you to go like, like, like your body line is going across the front of me because I'm going to change her, OK? Girls, you need to look like a team. We're competing in Long Beach, an hour up the street. We have kids that come that far to dance class here. Understand? Sarah's delightful. Nice girl, great potential. But Sarah's a guest. These girls have been dancing together for a long time and adding new people it's going to make a difference with the group gelling. It just changes the dynamics, and I think that might be the piece that will make it the most challenging. All right, ladies, we are going to New York dance experience. These people know you. There will be no tantrums. There will be no storming out of the dressing room. You storm out of that dressing room, keep walking. See you tomorrow. Yeah! Come on, girls. Let's go. The stakes are high for these routines because we're here in Long Beach, California. This is my own backyard. And we're going to have kids of all different ages coming to attend this competition. These are my potential students. But Sarah has a tough job today. She is not used to dancing with this group. This win is way too important for this kid to not be at her best. Abby, we've been loyal to you, Abby, for four years. You know that we want to be here. And if I can stay, I would be honored to stay. Christy, Sarah has had the same corrections for quite some time now. Can Sarah dance with Bryn and the rest of these kids in this group and hold her own? You know, I don't need a, a weak link. She's not a weak link. Each member of the Junior League competition team has been chosen very carefully. A lot of time and energy went in to handpicking these kids. So Sarah has to prove that she's a winner and that she should stick around. Girls, you have to keep in mind, that even though the choreography really resembles a team on stage, you also have to continue to act like a team. We 
had people in and out this week, so I didn't quite feel like a team all of the time because people had different things going on. But at the end of the day, you do represent the ALDC when you're on that stage. So the judges have to feel that they have to feel like you really are a team. This is a huge week for Sarah. We have been trying to transition to LA, trying to get a spot on this team. Sarah needs to prove that she can dance with the team and she can bring the win. Girls, get up here, get up here, get up here. So now we have baseball, Michael Jackson's passion, something that he loved to do. It was his outlet where he was just a regular kid, just like you guys. There's not too many times that you get to be just a regular kid. All those kids out there look up to you. We're going to walk down that hallway, and every kid in that hallway wishes that they could be you. I want to see the choreography done like a team, a winning team. There is going to be a lot of stiff competition. We are at the Woo! Let's do it. But there's also going to be a lot of potential customers. Nothing brings in students like a winning team. So Sarah has a tough job today. She is not used to dancing with this group. This is resting on your shoulders, kiddo. Up next, taking the stage is Club 42. They just have one overall award. We have one chance to win. It's time for junior group today. You know what? We didn't have a great week. I know that there is a lot of talk of Melissa pulling her kids from the team to go off and do other things. I think her kids are confused. We're confused. Sarah's a good little dancer, but the ALDC has been a revolving door. I think this will affect the outcome of the group. I do. Please put your hands together. Top junior group, hang it down. They blew it. I want champions on this team, not losers. What happened with our group? They didn't even place. You know what? Our kids need to work harder. They need to be better. I 
thought it was interesting, though, that the judges specifically said that Sarah was the one who stood out on the side. And yeah, so I yeah. thought maybe that kid really was just stressed. Maybe she really just felt this This was just too much pressure. Maybe. I think Sarah was a beat behind in the entire number. She doesn't dance with this group in what, a year. I mean, how long, right? Obviously. When Brynn got here, she blended right in from the first dance. She was never called out for not. I'm job. just saying, that's what you have to do in order to make it here. You've got to walk on and be able to handle run. the pressure. You're not going to put the team loss on Sarah's shoulders. I mean, that's ridiculous. She, like, second guesses herself. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, she waits for Mackenzie or Maddie's arms to go up, and then hers are up. It's almost like she doubts herself. Sarah is not the quicker picker-upper. She is not. It takes her weeks and weeks to get the choreography into her body. We don't have weeks and weeks. That kid needs to continue to improve and continue to learn. She's not ready to dance with the big girls. Why do we have to do this? Just say the girls all did great. All the girls were fabulous. <laughs> well, we all know you're leaving anyway, so don't worry about it. Melissa, anything to say? Uh-uh, no. I won't speak, because I don't really need to anymore. Do your kids know your plans or anything? No, nobody knows anything. Nobody knows anything. <laughs> now, you see another picture. There's an extra person on the pyramid. I have no idea who this is. No clue. We have a new member of the team. She made the commitment. And now, Asia will be joining the Abby Lee Dance Company. <laughs> she might be amazing. It doesn't matter to me. We really don't need another team member. We don't need her. She was a contestant in the ultimate competition that I judged this summer. Her mother, she signed the same contract that you guys signed. She is here for the duration. She wants my tutelage. I do not think there's enough competition among you. I don't think you challenge each other enough. And I want to warn you. I don't want to hear one word about anybody chasing this woman out. Well, I can imagine that Asia's going to be moving up the pyramid pretty quickly. Okay. I can guarantee that. I, I have no idea who this kid is. Oh, look. She's in a cage. Oh, my, oh my God. God. She's like a little wild animal coming out of a cage. She hasn't done a single leap or turn. I can tell that Melissa's nervous about Asia. I mean, Mackenzie and Asia are the same size. And with Mackenzie's foot bothering her, maybe Abby's bringing Asia in for a permanent replacement. Who is ready to meet the new kid? Kenzie is, I think. I'm like, I'd love to see her dance once. Yeah, I'd like to meet her and see what she's going to bring to our team. I know the kids are looking forward to meeting Asia, but to be honest with you, I I'm not really looking forward to meeting Christy. I don't believe we need another new student and another mom. Hello! Hello! How are you, sweetheart? Come here. Hello, give hugs. How are you? I can't believe Asia and her mom, Christy, are actually here in my studio. I am ready to work with Asia. I hope she can handle my tough love. Asia is so excited to be working with you. We're here to work, right? Now remember, they're evil, the moms. <laughs> the girls are sweet as pie. I'm hoping that you are here to follow my rules, not to question me. That's what the other mothers are all about. I'm bringing Asia here to train with Abby because Asia wants to be here. Say hi, girls. Come on in. Come on in, everybody. This is Asia. Hi. And this is Christy. Hi. Hi. How are you, hey, Christy? I don't know that the world can handle two Christies. <laughs> Let's see how you match up with Mackenzie. Yeah. Mackenzie's a smart little kid. I think she's going to keep this new little friend close and her enemies closer. I know deep down inside, Melissa's nervous. Here's this little girl comes in, and she's going out and she's doing a solo this week. Mackenzie's not even dancing this week. She's not even in the group dance. So you are not in the group dance. Mackenzie's not in it either. It's a little bit of a more mature subject matter. You will be doing a solo also. Excited? Yes. All right, you guys can get to know each other. 
I can't imagine Abby ever replacing Mackenzie. But then I'm thinking, why is Asia here? What is her purpose? She has to have her purpose. Why is she adding her to the team? You guys sure dished it out to me. You better dish it out. The moms gave me such a hard time when I came to ALDC. They had better give Christy just the same amount of trouble they gave me. Can I sit right here? Yeah, sure. We need to hide your skinniness amongst us. Oh. We nicknamed you Skinny Christy. Oh, great. Oh, you're fat, Christy. <laughs> There is only room for one Christy at the Abby Lee Dance Company, and that role has been filled. So when did you get into town? This morning. Oh, gosh, you just got in. And But we just came from Korea, but I had to you stop. Korea? Yeah, Asia's been working in Korea. She was on a TV show. She got yeah. booked out so much that there's no way that she can compete. And uh, wait, we were wait, traveling. Wait, 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 she got booked out? For jobs. They don't have any teachers of Abby's caliber in your area. You know what? I think her and Abby bonded, and Asia loves Abby. And she works better with teachers that are on her. And she asked if she could see Abby again. And so we're here. You guys moved to Pittsburgh, which is great. We're happy to have you, but that means no hightailing it out for other no jobs. No dancing anywhere in the United no States. No ballet school somewhere, <laughs> none of that. Mother. You're committed to this studio for a year, and if you leave, you owe her $100,000 cash. Well, thank God I have $100,000. These moms are trying to scare me off right now, and what they don't know is that I'm not intimidated, and I'm here to stay, so they can just move on. Asia! Let's go. Asia is doing a solo to the music Rock That. And honey, she can rock it out. But can she straighten her legs and point her feet? We'll have to see. Watch me hit that, hit that. Ding! She looks kind of, um, naughty. Arms up! Your feet are so sickled. Your knees are knocking. Crawl, crawl, ding! Asia is like dynamite exploding on stage. And I want her to scale it back a bit. So, Asia, I want to see cute, I want to see fluffy, and I want to see a puppy dog. Is this her style, this sassy? Yeah, she's a more of a fierce dancer. She's never been a cutesy dancer. You have one more day to work on this, and that's it. You have to learn your solos in a day. That's what we do at the Abby Lee Dance Company. She's a cute little girl. She really is cute. You want to see me rock that? The first day at a new dance studio can be difficult for anyone. I want to find out from Christy how the other moms are treating her. If they so much as look at Christy wrong, watch out. First of all, I don't like somebody coming in here with my name. You talk about Melissa having so boobs? She has cantaloupes. <laughs> she was not born with them. Mine are real. Let me clue you all in. I'll show you no scars, and you've seen them all. <laughs> what was your overall impression of these mothers? Do tell. Um, being around them now for this short time, there's just so many complaints. Tweedledee and Tweedledum, they're miserable. You know, I'm open to any questions, and I didn't have a problem with them, but I did feel that they had the most questions. Christy with the C, she thinks that she's being replaced. She knows that I want her out big time. Oh, OK. If you have any issues with any of the moms, come to me. Head back. Turn the police sort out. I think Melissa is the mom that's clearly the most upset about Asia being here because she's a direct threat to Mackenzie. But Melissa will never admit that. Are we ready? Asia, come here. Hey, you got to realize why we're here, right? Yeah. We came to train with Abby. You know Mackenzie's hurt. She has a bad foot. We got to take advantage, but you need to stay focused, and we need to take this opportunity to stay here, OK? All right, high five. It's very important this week for Asia to do well in her solo. She just needs to bring it. Even though she's younger than Mackenzie, I think she's more entertaining. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Asia performing Rock Band. See me 
My daughter pulled it off, and she was a fierce puppy, and she made it her own on that stage. We're here to stay. And our first place, Energy Petite Solo. Drum roll, please. Entry number 39, Ross Jack. Asia pulls out the first place win. They put this teeny tiny little tear on the puppy dog's head, and it looked like best in show. Hi, my name is Asia. Asia comes in and wins with her very first solo with the ALDC, and we know Melissa's not happy. And Mackenzie better start winning first place trophies left and right, or it's goodbye Mackenzie and hello Asia.